Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today we're going to talk about the question, is sunscreen dangerous? And just yesterday I got this post on Facebook. It shows, it reads, 96% of the U.S. population has oxybenzone in their bodies, a known endocrine disruptor linked to reduced sperm count in men and endometriosis in women. The main source is sunscreens. So what is your endocrine system? The endocrine system is the collection of glands that produce hormones that regulate metabolism, growth and development, tissue function, sexual function, reproduction, sleep, and mood <clears throat> among other things. Okay, so is oxybenzone, I'm sorry, is oxybenzone in sunscreen dangerous? Here's how it may impact your health. In order to protect your skin from the sun's powerful ultraviolet UV rays, you know that applying and reapplying sunscreen is the best way to prevent serious health issues like skin cancer. The problem? Recent headlines surrounding sunscreen have suggested that your go-to SPF may be linked to, to its own set of health problems. In particular, people have repeatedly freaked out about oxybenzone, a widely used chemical found in two-thirds of the products analyzed for the Environmental Working Group's EWG's Sunscreen Guide. The EWG has been weary of oxybenzone for years, way back in 2008. The organization asked the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, to investigate safety, the safety of oxybenzone used in sunscreen due to growing evidence that it could potentially disrupt the human and hormone system. On top of that, oxybenzone has, been, has ended up in our oceans, harming and killing corals in the process. That's why Hawaii's governor signed a bill into law last July that banned the sale of sunscreens containing oxybenzone, as well as another chemical called oxinocyte. Okay, so for me, <laughs> I've always looked at labels. You guys know me. I've got a brain. I've been a health nut for a long time. We're not nuts anymore because it's starting to become obvious that all of these chemicals in all these ingredients lists are nuts. And they're causing all kinds of problems with our bodies. And when they're causing problems with us, they're causing problems with the environment and, and vice versa. And so for me, sometimes I'll, I'll be like, okay, what's a natural alternative? Because sometimes I can find them. And so I looked that up. And I found this product here that's supposed to be a more natural alternative. Derma E. I found this Derma E product. And so I go down here and I look at the ingredients and it reads purified water, cocoa caprolate derived. It's not focusing very good. There we go. Disaffrophryl carbonate, laurel glucoside, polyglycerol 2 glycerin, vegetable derived, microcrystalline cellulose, plant derived. So they're all derived. A lot of these are derived. So they're like extracts. Cellulose gum, organic. Camellia senilsis, so that's natural, that's natural, that's a vitamin, sodium, sodium asorbyl polyphate. In any case, I'll tell you what I do for sunscreen. If I want to protect my nose, I wear a hat.
It's not difficult. If I want to protect my whole body, the way that I've achieved that is by eating healthy foods. I believe that eating healthy foods, and I have no proof of this, but I could probably look it up, but it makes sense to me that eating a lot of greens that have a lot of chlorophyll in them protect my body from the sun's rays. That's what I believe. It makes sense, doesn't it? Because plants, they're in the sun all the time, and you would think that if you're eating chlorophyll, that that would naturally give your skin a lot of beautiful color. And when your skin has a lot of beautiful color, then wouldn't it make sense that that would protect it from the sun? Now, also, I put coconut oil. I'm always massaging coconut oil in my skin. I massage and I massage coconut oil all the time into my shoulders and my arms because my muscles get sore. So there you go. Another thing with massaging your body is that you're getting oils, natural oils, always use unrefined into your skin. So. The tops of your shoulders, you can always, like, you could take a t-shirt and cut it off right here and show your sexy, sexy belly <laughs> and just wear a cut-off top t-shirt and there you're protecting your shoulders. It's usually the, the, the parts of your body that are sticking up, like your nose and your shoulders, that get burned easily, more easily, right? So it's not difficult to, to keep chemicals out of your body. If you just read labels, use your brain, and then make the extra effort to stay away from all of that excess yada yada. So that is a really nice position right there. Very, very comfortable. And you can have as much millet holes in your pillows as you want for support. And you just dig your head into it. Makes a mold. Makes a perfect mold. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like, what this whole thing looks like after you've really wiggled into it and molded it. See the mold for the leg, see the mold for the arm, see the mold for the head. It's created a perfect contour. When you create a perfect contourous mold, that's when you get comfort, baby. And also, when there's no chemicals, when there's no stinky chemicals, I, I urge you to stop using dryer sheets and to stop using laundry soaps that have stinky chemicals in them. I have to go wash my laundry at the laundromat and if I don't wipe out the, the little bit of laundry detergent in the bottom of the thing that you dump it into from the previous person, <clears throat> If I don't wipe that out, then my clothes smell like stinky chemicals. And it is no wonder that people are so sick in our world. It's amazing. People plug in these stinky things. They plug in these stinky deodorizers. They call them like deodorizer. It's a stinker. It's stinkizer. That's what they are. These plug-in Glade stinking plug eyes, stink eyesers. <laughs> I don't even know what they are, but all of that shit stinks. Don't, don't use it anymore, please. <laughs>